Hi, and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Nick Johansson with your top stories from this past week. A truck fire south of Vernon Monday afternoon quickly spread to the nearby grass, resulting in a large, rapidly growing wildfire. The BC Wildfire Service responded to the fire off Highway 97 near West Ridge Road, and with the help of the two largest air tankers in the fleet, they managed to get the fire under control by the evening. There were strong winds in the area, fanning the large flames, and the fire reached a size of about 25 hectares before crews got a handle on it. With COVID-19 numbers rising consistently across BC, Dr. Bonnie Henry ordered this week the closure of all nightclubs in the province and limited liquor sales at bars and restaurants to 10 p.m. Local bars said the new measures are a tough pill to swallow for an already beat-up industry. I think out of all the things so far, this one affects us the most because for a lot of restaurants, like um, not like all restaurants, but you know a lot that you know have a good volume of alcohol. Um, that's where you make your margins. Just reading through it, you know, I feel the pain for everybody else, uh, myself, after 35 years, that this could be the end to this industry, which I love so much. While BC nightlife was restricted this week, most students in the province headed back to class on Thursday. Many parents have expressed concerns with the back-to-school plan. This week, Castanet toured Rutland Secondary School to see the COVID-19 measures the school has in place. But despite all the best practices being put in place, Dr. Henry acknowledged this week that COVID-19 cases will likely pop up in BC schools, but they're working to contain any transmission of the virus. A landslide in Penticton that forced the evacuation of two homes last month has come to a halt, for now. The slide near Creekside Road crushed part of the lower home back on August 9th, and five weeks later, one of the home's residents were allowed back home. We're hoping to get, uh, again, working with the engineers involved, is to get a final assessment of what caused it and, again, a game plan of how it could be remediated. But um, because it's on private lands, it's really the two private lands owner and their insurance companies and their professionals to really start uh, working on it on a game plan. And a video of a fight in the middle of Harvey Avenue from earlier this month was making the rounds on social media all week, leading to an RCMP investigation. The video shows a man in a blue shirt fighting with a man who had been riding a motorcycle, all while highway traffic was stopped at Leadhead Road. RCMP says they are investigating the incident, but no charges have been laid. It's unclear what started the fight. That's it for this week's Week in Review. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.